So we've managed to make it up to the sword. So let's... I don't know. Let's do that. Pretty sure this doesn't open. Don't worry about it. He is looking for me. Oh, what? to a glowing start here. Okay. So we gotta collect a certain amount of money. But we also have to find a sword. I suppose I could have gone through the cutscene at the beginning again, but we just jumped right in. That's okay. These hallways always confuse me. Just the way this place is laid out, I guess it's intentionally kind of. Hello? Show yourself. There's a oh shit. <laughs> yeah, there's like a million different ways you can go on this mission, which is kind of interesting. And the more you kind of play through it, the more you sort of realize how and why things are a little strange. I know ultimately I have to come down to one of these places. I remember that much. There's so many guards. Oh no. You need, like obviously like what's going on here? Like I'm inside guy inside some guy's house and he's got a Caldane tree. 
And they got forest. Where'd he go? And it's pretty bold too, it's like I suppose it has not been revealed yet in the story from us playing, but you kind of figure out later that he's been hired, Garrett, that is our character, has been hired to rob this place by the guy who owns it. So it's like, he doesn't know you're not going to come in here and kill all these guards and who knows what else. Not just steal what he wants you to steal, but it could be everything else you own. He's coming. Somewhere around here. Mess with me. There's like an actual greenhouse area. We got a key though. What does this key do? Oh, oh. Oh, there's a fire over there. Yeah, it's a throne room. How pretentious can you get? Uh, really? Really? I didn't think he could even hit me from where he was. But apparently he can't. Alright. We're kind of just wandering around. I know where certain things are, but... Other things I'm not sure about. Hide you there. This goes up. And there's a little bit of oddities, things like this, where there's like a sideways room. You weren't already a little confused. Now's a good time to start. Oh, I actually, oh, I thought I hit the table, but I actually hit the bookcase. Can I get all the way up to there? Oh, there we go. <gasps> Alright, we'll just go with this. We're up here now. We're weird. We'll definitely have to go back down to find the loot that we need, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god. That didn't seem quite right. Here's a sword. We kind of accidentally found that. To take my new sword or get out of this crazy place. Who's there? Who said that? Hey, who are you? My God. I'm pretty sure these guys. Maybe they're not. I'm not sure. But they feel to me like they're more powerful and better at fighting than your average guard. 
And I think that's part of the, uh... I lost track of what I was saying, but I think that's that they say, like, these are not the, uh, rent -a cops like you'd find at other places. Essentially. And then this, like, look at this. What happens if we jump off? There's just, like, a void in the guy's house. You didn't think it was uh, weird already. Can I even jump up there, I wonder? I don't know. Might have to come from the other side. So yeah, that's weird. And all these weird tunnels. Some of this actually kind of reminds me of some of the weird tunnels you end up going through in System Shock 2. Hello. Ah, didn't even scratch. Ah. Why? Okay, I'm gonna reload. So why did that guy see me? What's that? Hey, someone tapping about. Ah! Oh my God! They killed him. He's not dead. He's not dead. Relax. What's up here? Oh, this. This is above. I was just thinking about that. Like, what is up here again? Whatever the hell this is. Cool that it lets you get up there though. Even if there's not much of a purpose. And yeah, I guess we're using Constantine's sword now that we've got it. And I've never been completely sure if it's actually more powerful in any way. If not against people, then against like monsters and stuff, I'm not sure. Never use the sword enough to ever to ever know, I guess. Sounds. These guys seem way more rare, aware than the average guard, if, if nothing else. Now we're up here. This is this is where we were earlier, standing on that thing. Let's just keep following the path. Oh. This is an, a rather iconic hallway. Very cool. We better go this way, I guess. We can get back down. Oh, we're up here. So we can grab this. I think this is a diamond. Yes. Because we need 1,500 loot. And then information about Constantine, which I vaguely remember being on a lower level, or the middle level maybe. Or we need a key, perhaps. I think I remember. There's a key somewhere that leads us to information stored in like a... garden kind of area. The greenhouse. Whatever you want to call it. Show yourself. Hey, yeah, these guys are way more responsive to you sneaking up on them. Because even when you're on tile, the other guards Do not react quickly enough to like 
stop you 90% of the time. If I kill a guard by activating a trap, does that count as killing him? Probably. I think if he just dies at all. Over here. I accidentally came here. So I know where I am. I know there's a... Ouch. Diamond right there. What's in here? Oh, this is the bedroom. Or one of the bedrooms. Compendium of Natural Magic, Chapter 15. Tatiana's Flowers. This might be either... Victoria's or... Constantine's bedroom. These flowers grow primarily in the icy mountain caves of the Essa Range. <clears throat> Excuse me. By way of defense, they have evolved a method of warming and swirling the magical energy of the sentient plants and rocks discussed in the last chapter, lulling them to sleep. The flowers are named after the archmage Tatiana Jokovic, who pioneered their use in the temporary negation of magical spells and systems. Keep our eyes peeled. So I was thinking in one of these bedrooms was information. I think it's a different one, though. This might be Victoria's room. Don't think we want to go that way. Nor this way. I've kind of been rushing through this for whatever reason. I don't necessarily need to. Good guy. I need to find some place I can knock you out, potentially. I don't know if there is around here. I wouldn't mind stealing that little pouch off your waist, though, huh? Oh. Remember this room. Although he has forgotten about me. Oh, oh, oh. You hurt. Oh, okay. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know how that worked, but I won't complain. Don't know how that worked. Okay. Um, somewhere there is another bedroom. That I thought was on this floor. I can figure out how to get back to here. Go this way. This looks right. Yeah, here we are. This is his room. Oh, what? Huh? Okay. Sorry, sir. But here we are. The man himself. On his raised little platform. Pick that lock. Pick that lock. 
back in the hallway. Is it here? Here we go. The one who trespassed your greenhouse is chastised. He did not know the rules, but spies there no longer. Key. So this is the key to the greenhouse. Which I believe is where we find interesting information. And we have 1200 gold, so we're actually not too far from that goal either. So let's see if we can find more stuff. Yes. Yes. Lore. The City Tribune. A woman from Shalebridge who was acquitted of charges of robbery in a city court last week has been kidnapped by members of the Order of the Hammer. Kidnapped, huh? Sorry. Uh... Woman is apparently being held in squalid conditions in Cragscliff Prison, whereas the Hammerites did not cite any official reason for the incarceration. One of the order was quoted saying, She hath sinned in the builder's eyes, and thy slothful laws hath touched not her at all. So they just done thrown her in prison. Oh. Can I just say... Like, I love these textures. Just something about, just looking at this one in particular, like, you get a lot of detail, and yet it, it's got sort of that simplicity to it at the same time. Same with, like, the brick texture, and this sort of, like, symbolic figure same thing here it's like they're trying to create this kind of illusion of light and dark and detail but it's like so simple at the same time and like the obnoxious carpets just everything I just love it I just love it Oh, I always thought this was funny. There's like a whole room back here. <laughs> and gold. But oh, I thought there was more back here than that. I guess it's just the one chunk of gold, but that's almost what we need for everything. Other than going down into the, uh, what's it called? Greenhouse, which I think may also have money down there. Okay. Sorry if I sound a little off. Or if I'm meeting myself occasionally. Still feeling a little congested. I feel fine overall. I don't feel sick. I just feel congested. Whether it's allergies or sickness or something else, but. Hopefully with a bit of rest and a bit of time, it'll be gone before you know it. Is there a guy up here? Is there a man? Not quite here. I don't like him sitting there. I feel like he's going to die. He's a corpse! Don't kill any guards. So he must have killed himself, so it didn't count against me? Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. Well, I don't remember exactly where it is. But I know there is a greenhouse. <laughs> I've got the key for it.
is walking the opposite way we have been in here. For a second I thought there was like a crib. But it's just the chairs. I do think this looks a lot like a coffin though. New flashbang still have. Or There's your 1500 coin. I know for a fact there's money in several of these rooms actually. This, this is actually one of the missions where it's easy to find all the gold. That's like my least favorite thing to do is like hunting to try and find every last scrap of gold that always pisses me off but even including in uh band missions and stuff sometimes somebody will make a perfectly good fan mission but then you put it on expert because i you can't not play it on expert and they'll make the gold limit like some absurd number and make you really have to search for it which is I don't think that's fun. Personally. <clears throat> I wanted to come down here because I always think this is funny. This door can't be opened by any of the keys we found. And this is actually later on in the game, a door that we do get to uh, pass through, which is interesting. I hear this guy, but where is he? And I'm trying to remember where is this place at? Oh, more money. Pretty sure it's on the first floor somewhere. Back here, probably. Hey, Nightmare Thief. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Mm. I'll know it when I see it. It's going all right. I kind of wanted to sneak in at least one more mission of this gold run that we've been doing tonight. Because I would like to finish through the whole game. I hear there's a guy. Is he further away than I think he is? I've been moving him fairly quickly through the level. I don't necessarily think this is like a difficult level. It's very trippy, obviously. But I was mentioning, I'm not sure if you were here quite yet, but I was mentioning like the gold is actually pretty plentiful and easy to find. Other than that, just finding the sword isn't too big of a deal. It's definitely disorienting when you got to deal with the... Uh, tricks and traps of the level. One of these keys might actually open this door. But other than like your initial confusion, I think you should be able to get by it. Similar to uh, the assassin's level. Where at the very end you get to see where another mission starts. I always love that in games, including this one. 
we're uh, another mission later on starts right about here and you get to sort of explore areas that you weren't able to and and I, I, I like that too just like coming in here they sort of set the mood it's kind of ominous And yeah, this is where uh, a really cool cutscene. Pretty sure it's taking place in this room later on, too. I'm actually regretting that I didn't, when I started playing the mission, I didn't go back and rewatch the cutscene. Let's go over here. I know there's the uh, little big world kind of stuff, which I guess we can check out as well. Am I even going to get there before drowning? Holy shit. It was definitely uh, a twist. That's for sure. I suppose as you can see me up here. They never look up. Hey, someone oh. there? Ah. No. Look. The tiny village. I kind of wonder why they didn't, uh... Like, you could have changed the texture size on a lot of these things and made it look a little more realistic, I guess, but it's... Maybe they didn't care. That's fine. They sort of did with their rooftops and stuff, but like, I don't know, doors and windows and stuff, whatever. Whoop. So we're doing all this swimming, I might have to go grab myself some more water. Maybe we'll do that quick once we get up here. Let you soak in the, uh... What we're seeing. Giant gold ring. Hmm, that's weird. I always thought this was trippy. Oh my gosh. Giant couch with the fireplace and the door. And the lights. <laughs> I always thought this was cool. Okay, yeah, I'll be right back, like, less than a minute. Okay, we've topped off. <clears throat> I'm also noticing in the chat, if you're watching this live on Twitch, we've got our nice little skull emote as the uh, subscriber tag. What do you want to call it? Badge. Better than just the generic star anyway. Ooh, uh. Oh, and there's water arrows. Lovely.
I always thought it was weird that there's just guards patrolling this place too. We better explore around a little bit. We don't really need to find any loot or anything at this point. Oh, shit. I didn't know he was right up here. This is like, like this kind of thing. The sense of humor as well. First off, behind the couch cushions, there's a dice, there's a chip, some giant gold coins. And uh, the spoon, I guess. Just a, a, a tortilla chip. <laughs> then there's cheese. With the gas arrows attached to it. <laughs> like, come on. All right. I was wondering how the guards turned into monkeys later. <clears throat> I assume, I guess I always assumed that they were, that these guys are humans that were just hired. And then by the time the end of the game is happening, it's like all pretense of him being a normal person is gone. The human guards are probably dead or gone. And he's just like summoned new guards. And if, with all the <clears throat> they've got a name don't they like the insect creatures and the monkey uh, east men guys I always thought the ones at least in the in thief one <clears throat> they always, I always thought they were like rat people Just based on how they kind of look with the tails and stuff. But then in Thief 2, they're more ape like. Oh, I forgot there's a. Ouch. I mean, if you're getting paid enough money, I'm sure you're. You'd work anywhere. <laughs> I'd have questions and uh, I'd be concerned. I think that's actually, I don't think it's this, but I, I feel like there was a note somewhere on this level or somewhere else. I haven't read it this time through, but uh, I remember there being a note where it's like he was paying in like raw gold and stuff like that. It's like, I don't know where he got the gold. But it's it's good, you know. It's it's got value, and we'll take it, you know. Because I'm sure, just wherever he's from, like his <clears throat> place beyond in the maw or whatever, they don't got coins. He's just pulling it out of the earth or whatever. So and men often say, "Heavy is the head that wears the crown." For once, they speak the truth. I've told the poor lads over and over and over, do not come into my private retreat. Do they listen? Do they hear? If they fall victim to my sanctum, so be it. Oh, that's incriminating information? Interesting. I didn't realize that counts as incriminating information. Because I thought there was also incriminating information inside of the uh, greenhouse. Uh, but I suppose that's pretty incriminating. I appreciate the giant pencil. I, s I assume this is supposed to be ink. And a big old book. Two books. 
<clears throat> okay, can we get down safely? This does look uh, a bit weird. That's not too bad, actually. Of course. Oh wait, I got an arrow there. I didn't see that. Ouch. Do arrows stick in this? They do. I want... Oh! I... I literally have no reason to want to keep my arrows. I just, I just do. It's like a OCD thing. I gotta have those rope arrows. Here we got a bedroom. I feel like there's spiders, if I remember correctly. In the bed or something <laughs> wacky like that. More arrows that I don't really need. I still got one more healing. And I think. Right here. Okay. <clears throat> so there's a. That's the way I gotta go. Pretty sure. <gasps> but we better take a peek. <clears throat> What's up here? Bed bugs. Ouch. That really hurt. Also, can we just talk about how cool rope arrows are? And how I've not really seen another game that does it quite as well in terms of like an item that lets you just kind of traverse wherever the hell you want. It's like any other game, if you had like a vertical space like this. You can't do anything about that. I can't even, I literally can't think of a single game unless it's like a action, more oriented game where you can like double jump or do crazy, somewhat unrealistic climbing sort of bouncing off the walls kind of thing. Like that's a different genre of game, I guess. But like, I don't know. There's something just like, about methodically being able to like make your way around and using the tools at your disposal in like creative ways, I don't know. Just never never quite seen it work out that way since. I'm really hoping that uh Oh and we're here. Oh shit, I'm uh oh Really hoping Gloomwood does some cool stuff. I know I'm buying time while I'm stuck. I gotta load. I don't know what's happening. I know there was like a gun that's used for utility things that I saw he was adding. I think for like sort of an equivalent of like a water arrow and different things like that or like a silent honestly don't remember. I'd have to look up some of that again. But I'm hoping that game is able to pull off some interesting things. I think we just gotta leave. I'm still tempted to find and check out the greenhouse, even though it's not technically 
a requirement. If I can remember how to get to it. Because I remember it being a cool looking area. It is not here, but it's in this general area area and I always forget exactly where right here in fact I was here earlier but I ran by yeah there's tons of loot on this mission I've got over 2,000 I only need 1,500 And I'm pretty sure the key I got lets me... One of these keys. This one? The other one? This is where you're supposed to go, I think. For the incriminating evidence. Right. Either here or here. Mr. Constantine. I do hope that our final renovations have met with your approval. And I would again like to thank you for your business. As one of the few lay architecture houses in the city, we found that we have quite a bit of proving ourselves to do, and the patronage of someone such as yourself is always appreciated. If there's anything else that you would like built or modified, please let us know. Please also rest assured that we have no objections to taking further payment in this form, though we are, of course, deeply curious as to where you obtained such a quantity of raw gold. This is exactly what I was talking about earlier. Lionel Kerthman. So it's like he's not even paying them in coins. He's just like, here's a bunch of gold that I got. It's not in ingots or coins or bars. It's just we we oh, pulled this out of the earth and now it's yours. Raquel's Tome of Magic Introduction. It is the erudite practitioner of magic who, in these days of pseudo wizards, carelessly carelessly wielding enchanted materials, retains the secrets of commanding the powerful sorcery found in the world of nature, for it, was f for it was from listening to the hidden whispers of ancient oaks, of creeping vines, of desert sandstone pillars, that civilized people first learned the abstruse ways of magic. I'm assuming abstruse is like obtuse, difficult to understand, concealed or hidden out of way. So yes. That's just not a word that you hear very often. I'm pretty sure one of either of those, possibly this one, was one of the things that was considered. <clears throat> Dirt on Mr. Constantine. I guess there's nothing else in here. So we can just depart. I feel like there was something weird back here. Yeah, this. Let's run up here real quick. Like water floating through the air. And what's this? Nothing? Like, why does this exist? Okay, I just kind of bounced off that in a very strange way. Okay, now we can get out of here. Um, I think we're going the wrong way, kind of. 
that's okay. That goes there. We could go up here. Let's just do this. Haha. <laughs> I was like that. You can kind of jump outside the map there. Okay. Yeah. Let's just watch the cutscene for the next mission. And then we'll... Probably wrap it up there, honestly. It's a short stream, but I mostly wanted to try and get through one more mission. And we've accomplished that. So let's at least get a little lore... Uh, what do you want to call it? Cliffhanger for next time. This actually might be the cutscene. We'll see. There's one cutscene in the game that I think perfectly exemplifies the character of Garrett. I trust you made it back alive. Yeah, it's this one. You've done well, Garrett. Come with me and bring the sword. There is someone you have to meet. It's time for the payment you've been promised. Yes. A refreshment, Mr. Garrett. I'm in the possession of a superior brandy that has the most restorative effect. I prefer my payment in cash, not liquor, Mr. My apologies. I've been watching you, Mr. Garrett. So closely, in fact, that I'm afraid I'd forgotten we haven't actually met yet. I am Constantine. All this time I thought you were gonna pay me. You've brought me here to kill me? But you have it all wrong, Mr. Garrett. Would it surprise you to know that it was I who hired you to steal my own sword? Yes. You see, Victoria and I are... Old associates. Yes. You were being tested, do you understand? And I must say, you more than live up to your reputation. You are quite an extraordinary thief. Testing me? What is it you want from me, Constantine? I am a collector, Mr. Garrett. But there are some items that are not available for purchase. They must be acquired using other means. In this case, the item in question would be best acquired by thieving. Not simple thieving, no. I need an artist like yourself. What exactly is this item? It is the gemstone called the Eye for its unusual appearance. Yes. Kept hidden in the sealed cathedral deep inside the halls of the scum Hammerites. Oh, but forgive me. You are, possibly, friendly with the Order of the Hammer. No. Fanatics make unreliable friends. Excellent. I am prepared to offer you quite a sum. A hundred thousand upon receipt of the eye. I don't see how I can refuse such an offer. Marvelous. Victoria can fill you in on all the particulars. And Mr. Garrett, the sword, keep it. You have earned it, but also, I believe you'll find it useful in your quest. Damn. So for me, it really just comes down to, like, he... Ugh. <laughs> oh. He walks in, he sits down, he's just fucking lounging. Come the time of peril did the ground gape and did the dead rest unquiet against us. Our bands of iron and hammers of stone prevailed not, and some did doubt the builder's plan. But the seals held strong, and the few did triumph. And the doubters were laid into the foundations of the new sanctum. Collected letters. The eye that Constantine wants is in the abandoned cathedral of the Hammerites. 
The cathedral is located in a section of the city that was deserted years ago, after some kind of catastrophe. I've heard stories of the incident. Most are wild rumors about hordes of zombies and raging fires. Now that part of the city is walled off, and no one's allowed to go in. Not that many people would dare to in the first place. Maps of the area are easy to find in attics and old trunks, but like all of them, the one I've got is over 50 years old. I'll make my way through the ruins to the Hammerite Cathedral, and find a way inside. Once I get inside the cathedral, I'll have to locate the eye. Something tells me that this is not going to be easy, but for the amount I'm getting paid, I'm willing to take some serious risks. This is always a spooky mission. I do think we're going to have to wait to continue that next time. But to continue my thought of what I was saying about Garrett did that cutscene. I just feel like he's sort of like no-nonsense sort of you know, I thought I was getting paid but you're just here to kill me? It's like, no, Garrett, we need you to do this, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, okay. He's like, we'll pay you 100000 He's like, okay. Sounds good to me. He's not overly concerned about the details of the things. And he's like, so relaxed about the entire situation. It's like, even, even if he was there to die, he's pretty okay with it, you know? <laughs> Just sort of accepting, to a certain extent, what he's in for. We're gonna just save. For next time. 